The variety of projects we have on offer um, really is, is, well, we have a lot of projects. We can even do a field-based project if you wish. You can do a modelling or an IT-based project or a library-based project, or you can do a laboratory-based project. The reality is that people tend to do a bit of all three. So you can have a, a variety of, uh, well, you're learning a variety of different techniques. But something that uh, our students enjoy very much are our field courses. It's a requirement of the degree to actually do one field course. Um, so you have to do one of them, but you can do all, all of them if you wish. Um, the China one is obviously uh, only for students who have registered for the uh, environmental science with a Chinese studies degree, but we do offer two other field courses uh, in Scotland, one to Devon and one to the Czech Republic. And in addition to that, these are ones that we run, but in, in addition to that, you can actually um, elect to do uh, field courses within engineering or within biology as well. So, with regard to our field courses, the environmental science field course um, runs at the end of the first year, but the marks are attributed to the second year. So you do your first year exams, and then you go off to Devon for a week and just have a nice time. It's very much an ecologically based field course, so students are, well, the students here are actually just measuring distribution um, of, of um, vegetation on a shingle beach, but they may equally be doing woodland ecology or rock pool ecology. And our second field course in the second year is a very, very different. Uh, this is a based, well, it's a geological stroke chemistry based uh, field course. So if you think, well, actually, I'm not really interested in ecology, I want to do the sort of the harder science, the more chemistry side of things, then this would be the field course for you. And the students spend a lot of time um, on the Loch, Loch Lomond, uh, doing, taking water samples and taking samples back to the lab and determining um, really how the chemistry of the Loch is influenced by the surrounding geology. And in the third year, we have an upland ecology um, field course, also to Loch Lomond, but of course the emphasis isn't on the water, the emphasis is uh, people um, tramping up a hill and, well, mountains and getting very fit from what I gather. One of the things they do is actually link this to, to climate change. Um, our peatlands are packed full of um, carbon. And if this area here starts to decompose more rapidly because of warming or whatever, we're going to be seeing quite a rapid release of CO2 from these areas. So it's very important to understand um, really the ha this, this habitat in, in quite a lot of detail. And that's the emphasis on this third year field course. And our final field course is uh, to the Czech Republic, to the Black Triangle. Um, here you'll see pollution as hopefully you will never have seen it and probably never see it again. Um, this is a, a picture of a coal mine and it's just absolutely vast. And so you would go there and study um, the, the, the sort of well, remnants of old pollution and modern pollution, but also um, you would see how uh, the people here are actually regenerating the area and making it habitable again. So the key themes of our field courses, we have uh, one in the second year and one in the third year with an ecology theme. And here we can see various students carrying out uh, different activities. And also we have one in the second year and one in the third year with a, a hydrogeochemistry thing, um, with a sort of a pollution angle in both of them. This is just a shot of some of our um, students, just this group of friends. They decided to have a, a group photograph taken at the Environmental Science Ball, um, which they actually share with the environmental engineers. Uh, it's very, they're a very nice group. They, they sort of get on very well. Um, they decided to have this photograph, and I thought it'd be nice to show you really just a kind of demonstrate that most of these people, um, although they haven't even graduated yet, have managed to secure some kind of employment or further study. Um, some of them are still particular, they're staying here to do a, a PhD with us. Um, various people, uh, Elisa in the middle there, um, actually got a, an offer of four different consultancy places um, and she kept them waiting for weeks before uh, she gave them a decision and they hung on for her. Um, most of the other ones have some kind of uh, consultancy placement or, or employment in another field. So I think really I've way had my five minutes, so I ought to stop there. So if you have any questions, um, then um, I'm free to answer them. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks very much, Anna.